Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up scan an email using Gmail the right way. Uh, the reason I say the right way is uh, the old way of setting up uh, scan an email uh, no longer works and uh, it's probably affected you. It's affected hundreds and thousands of people pretty much around the world. Our phones go off every day with people calling and complaining that they can't scan the email anymore. Uh, thinking something's wrong with their copier, but there's nothing wrong with your copier. Google has made some changes to the uh, uh, outgoing mail server security settings. Uh, and uh, without going into detail, they removed a, um, a feature called allow less secure apps. Uh, and you needed to turn that on previously in the old fashioned way of setting it up in order to get your copier to scan an email using Gmail. Uh, and uh, they remove that feature. It's part of the two-step verification security uh, update that they did. So I'm going to show you how to get around that and continue using scanning email using Gmail. So let's get started. First off, uh, you need to know the IP address of your copier. Of course, your machine has to be on your network. If you've never signed an IP address to your copier, we'll stop this video, go to the description. I have a link on how to assign an IP address uh, to your copier. So assuming that you know the IP address, let's get started. Uh, first off, we need to go into your uh, Google account uh, security settings. So open up your Google or even Gmail. You can open up your Gmail and click over uh, to your little circle here with your account information. Click on that. Go to manage your Google accounts. Click on security settings. Okay, now your two-step verification has to be on. I mean, it's 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 required now. Uh, so you're going to scroll down here to where it says app passwords. Okay. Click on that. It's going to ask you to sign in again. Now this number 20 is important. So um, it, as you can see, it's uh, picking up my phone. It actually sent, uh, you're going to have to grab your phone, it sent uh, a message. Uh, when you log on, you turn your phone on, it's going to uh, it's gonna ask you, or you're going to see a message that says trying to change your Google account settings. Uh, you're going to say, yes, it's me. After that, you're going to touch the number that you see on your screen here, which mine is 20. You're going to show the same number on your phone, hit 20. And then this is going to automatically verify you. So now the next step is uh, click the down arrow on the select apps, click on others, and name, uh, I'm going to name it Konica uh, Copier, just so I, Konica went out to Copier, so I know what it is. Now uh, click generate. Now this code here is very, very important. This is the key here to get your scanning email to work. So copy that okay you could even save it this is pretty much the last time you're going to see this so um i would recommend that you copy it save it somewhere in case you ever need to uh, do it again if not worst case you just delete it and start everything over again but uh go ahead and save this i'm going to copy it right click copy paste, and we're going to paste in a second so i'm going to copy it here and click done so very important now let's go ahead and log in to the back end of the copier and this is where you need to know the ip address of your copier i know mine which is i'm using a conic minota bis of c227 it's an older machine uh, so if you're using one of the newer machines uh, it's going to be the same process just the layout's different they moved it around just uh, sort of uh, find what you need to do. Uh, so first thing we need to do is log in uh, as administrator. Default password uh, as administrator for the Konica is 1234567 8. If that doesn't work for you, then somebody changed it and you need to uh, you need to either try to figure out how to change it uh, on your own through the service uh, login service or just have a tech come out and reset that for you so okay assuming you're logged in mine's taking a while uh first thing you need to do is go to system settings and you need to, you need to fill all this out okay uh device location you could put whatever you want i'm just going to put my office administrator name you can put me i don't care it, this doesn't matter this is what matters right here your email so put your email company name whatever you want it to be 
and right here department name just put whatever you want I'm putting 111 um, device name you should you can put Conic Minolta I'm going to put C227 and again the email very important you have to put uh, your the Gmail account email that you're using okay so we're going to hit OK next thing we need to do which is very very important if you don't get this feature done you're not going to be able to scan email go to your network and we need to set your DNS servers okay so uh, I like to use uh, my copier picked up this DNS server but I'm going to overwrite it I'm going to use Google's DNS server because I know it's safe and never changes so which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. uh, I like to put a secondary one which is Google secondary which is 8.8.8 .8 .8. 4.4 if you have your own DNS server you want to use that's fine as long as it works that that's all that matters so hit OK it's gonna go through sort of like a little reboot I like to go back in there uh, just to check to see if it's if it recorded so okay it recorded so now we're gonna go to email and this is what's important I keep my RX uh, off uh, I don't think you want to receive emails in your copy most people do I've never seen anyone that does but if you do then that's fine I keep mine off but it, it's no big deal if you want to leave it on that's fine uh, this is what's important this is where we're going to put all our, our Gmail outgoing mail server information so make sure that these are all are all on put a check mark here uh, because we're going to use the host name and we're going to use uh, Gmail's outgoing mail server which is smtp.gmail.com which you see right here I already have a set in there you're going to use start TLS you if you if you have yours off just go down uh, click on the arrow and select TLS uh, ports going to be 587 for whatever reason if 587 doesn't work or your your setup doesn't work try 465 but most of the time it's 587 so put 587 uh, you can't do anything on this one uh, nothing happens on this one this is just default uh, make sure that your email is showing up here make sure you have a check mark on your SMTP here type in again your email your Gmail email uh, which will be your username and your passwords not going to be your Gmail it's going to be that funky code that we generated do you remember I asked you to copy and paste well this is where we're going to paste it okay so um, that's pretty much it guys you guys are pretty much done sorry about that call uh, and um, you're pretty much all set so now the only thing left is setting up your address book so uh, you'll come into your stored address and you can set as many uh, email uh, accounts you want to do I set one up earlier but the way you do it it's so simple check this out you just click on new registration it defaults to the email click on that if it doesn't hit OK type in whatever I'm going ahead of you guys type in whatever you want the name to show on the copier when you walk up to the copier I'm just going to put me again <laughs> and click on main that way it'll be on your main uh, screen and type in the email that you want I'm just making one up right now uh, and there you go yeah and you can keep going and going and going so now let's walk up to the copier and I'll show you what to do next as far as uh, sending your first scan email click OK here of course okay okay guys walking up to my machine now this is the machine I'm using so it's very simple uh, let me see if I could get away from the glare here okay so what you need to do is select your scan fax scan button and there you have it there's your shortcuts that's the me again that I set up that's the previous one all you have to do is put a document on top of the document feeder or on the glass whatever you choose and select the destination such as this one and once it turns blue you hit start and there you go your copier is now set up to scan an email I hope this video helped good luck guys